So now that we talked about the top 10 global chemical companies, it's time to get an insight on a specific chemical industry. And actually I'm talking about BASF, which is by far one of the top chemical companies out there in the world. It's a German company and it has been around innovating and creating chemicals for more than a century. Let's get straight to the facts. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you haven't noticed, I'm making these videos related towards the chemical industry. These are mini lectures prepared for this course. So you want to learn more about the chemical industry, have a better introduction, or simply get informed on what are the chemical industry trends, ensure to check out the course right here. First things first, let's go to sales. And when I say the largest company or the biggest company, I'm talking about revenue. So there may be some chemical companies which have some relationship with oil, gas, petrochemicals, or energy. But right now we're going to be focusing mostly into chemicals. Now it's one of the largest companies in the chemical world with up to 112,000 employees all around the world. And I would like to focus our attention into the business segments. Of course, they focus their attention towards chemicals, but materials, specialty materials, industrial solutions, let, let it be consultancy or solving some other industry problems is one of the core products or business of the BASF company. Surface technologies, nutrition, care, and I will say that agricultural solutions is one of the top segments for this company and the main focus is i will say the brand innovation and sustainability now a little bit more on the history it was founded back in the 1800s mostly in the industrial revolution or the german industrial revolution in ludwigshafen germany actually the founder friedrich engelhorn and he was a chemist he used to work with gases and such so he noted that there was a lot of coal production and he could create some pigments, colors, dyes with the tar that was being created as a byproduct. And he did open his company, the Badische Anilin Soda Fabric, which stands for the Badisch Baden-Württemberg state in Germany. Anilin, the actual product or dye, soda and fabric, well, essentially the factory. Now regarding milestones, well, between the 20s and 50s, was where they started to expand into synthetic dyes, ammonia production, and more into chemicals, bulk chemicals. But the real revolution came in the 50s and 70s, where they explore new materials such as plastics, coatings, and crop protection. This is by far one of the key segments that we need to remove. But lately, in the 2000s, they have been focusing their attention into sustainability, technologies that favor that, digital transformation of industries, acquisitions, a lot of purchasing, and of course, specialty chemicals. Let's talk about products. So the main core business, we already know it, is chemicals, materials, industrial solutions, surface technology, nutrition and care, and moreover, agricultural solutions. I'm going to be focusing my attention into chemicals. Well, you can imagine uh, petrochemicals, intermediates, all these materials that are very bulky in the oil and gas industry, or that may be converted into polymers or something like that. Then materials, performance polymers, advanced materials, and I will say materials that are very niche in application depending on the industry, industrial solutions such as coatings, dispersions, etc. Last but not least, the agricultural solutions, seeds, crop protection, agrochemicals, and such. As stated in the previous slide, innovation, sustainability, and digital chemicals is something that they are pursuing in these years. And you may be familiar with these consumer products, the MDI and TDI, which are key components for the polyutherane foams. If you're familiar with constructions, I'm pretty sure that you may be quite familiar with this. Or maybe with the super absorbent polymers, styropore or neopore, which are foams for packaging and insulation. And if you're in the automotive industry, I'm pretty sure that you are quite familiar with chemicals for automotive coating. Uh, used in BMW, W, Mercedes-Benz, which are German brands, but actually they ship all around the globe. Now the main future and challenge for the chemical company. Number one will be sustainability, changing or shifting the idea of chemical being a very pollutant industry into a net zero emission by 2050, 
which is crazy. It's almost 25 years from now. I'm trying to imagine that all the industry, all the chemical industry will not have any impact regarding CO2. Not only that, also investing into circular economy, having a lot of initiatives, purchasing, acquiring companies and such. Digital transformation, they are the innovating point of chemical industry. So all regarding the industry 4.0, robotics, automation, AI, smart factories, and all these is something that they are taking seriously. Electrification and energy transition, which is definitely something they need to work with regarding this point right here, the net zero emissions, hydrogen economy, quite related to this point right here, and battery materials, which we already know are quite relevant. And finally, investing or working their way through emerging markets. So strengthening their presence in China, India, Middle East, and such. And that, guys, was PASF, the chemical company, which I'm pretty sure most chemical engineers are quite familiar, especially because they are very innovative. They are present all around the globe and they are quite relevant. The largest chemical company by revenue. Well, now you know more about this company. And before we finish, guys, please let us know in the comment section what are your main thoughts or ideas on this chemical company? I'm pretty sure that for many of us, it may be a dream to work in the chemical company, or maybe you have some negative thoughts or maybe ideas. Let us know in the comment sections because I'm pretty sure that many of us will take advantage of those comments. On my behalf, guys, that will be it. I'll see you in the next video. Love is clean and love is pure And love is a thing that no doctor can cure